Hello, uh, good evening. This is Shark looking at uh, DFCC. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, what you have here standard uh, volumes just to check for the reliability uh, of a breakout, and of course, uh, the standard uh, moving uh, average convergence divergence uh, indicator, the window you are seeing here at the bottom screen and of course um, I have the uh, the main uh, trend and then the channel here the supports the lower uh, channel uh, this is where the support it has uh, it can find at the moment uh, I'm looking uh, for a divergence but uh, well, it's there is no positive divergence, so um, uh, very uh, difficult to uh, uh, assess the situation here uh, for the FCC. Uh, for me, it's to avoid uh, as of now. Uh, but I remember uh, uh, a reversal could take place uh, somewhere now uh, around or below a 180. Uh, seeing here uh, the bit of a uh, resistance on this moving average uh, on the 50 moving average uh, seeing the people trying to sell here so it's a bearish channel as well okay so it's not pointing up it's pointing down so uh, any uh, any uh, any new position should be uh, uh, taken over 216 or 70 okay uh, um, as a target, let us see uh, 190 here, and you have a 215. Let's say so that's about 25 rupees target. So if we assume this target, the 25 rupees target, uh, that should bring uh, around 165 or somewhere here, uh, or somewhere here. Okay, so. Until we see a proper um, uh, a strong uh, a reversal uh, towards 216 or 217 and up, uh, I think we should not uh, enter. So I would, I would avoid uh, getting into DFCC uh, as of now. Um, wait for a bit of a uh, uh, what do you say uh, a sign uh, of uh, a reversal. Of course, uh, if for an aggressive uh, trader, uh, you know, uh, we could look around 190 and a stop loss around 187. So it's just two, two rupees uh, risk one could take uh, and enter around 190. So uh, <clears throat> the situation right now is that this uh, is on a bearish channel and one should avoid. So for aggressive traders can wait, uh, I think even 198 is a bit a tad high, so could wait for around 190, 1 or 192 and then have a stop loss around 1, 188, uh, which is the, the lowest uh, uh, level here, so to um, exp and expect a kind of a, a reversal to take place uh, back again towards 215 so people would tend to uh, sell around 215 so what you could do is to sell 50% of your positions around 215 or 216 uh, and if the breakout continues uh, a, a reliable breakout then of course we can uh, proceed uh, with the balance 50% uh, uh, so that's how I look at uh, the FCC at the moment uh, and uh, it's better to avoid as uh, for uh, for anyone who is expecting uh, uh, to get in uh, into a long uh, uh, term position um, another uh, thing would be to look at the weekly uh, uh, chart uh, this is the three years okay if you look at here so this is what I was talking about around 170 and 180 now this could be a, a much better uh, position however um, you look at the uh, this bearish channel 
uh, one could uh, get into a position around uh, around 190 and then uh, sell around uh, probably around uh, 188 uh, that's one way of looking at another strategy would be uh, I'm looking at the weekly chart here to wait for around 180 181 and uh, uh, that should be a long-term uh, opportunity there uh, to get in uh, with a stop uh, let's say uh, we could um, yeah we could say a stop around one uh, 170 uh, as a stop loss uh, for a for a long term uh, uh, some uh, trying to get in uh, so that's about uh, uh, the uh, DFCC uh, this is the weekly chart that we are looking at so a few scenarios you can play around uh, but uh, if you are a person who wants to see uh, daily actions so the best thing would be to look at the daily uh, chart and then uh, uh, re-enter your positions around uh, closer to the to the lower channel here around 191 50 or 190 and with a stop loss uh, around here uh, 188 so that way you cut uh, your loss and try to preserve uh, your uh, capital uh, i hope the strategy is very clear and until I see you on another video, this is uh, Shark.